There are wood worms or wood borer beetles in our wooden house. And today we are going to kill them with the Shashel microwave device. But first, we'll examine it from all sides. Let's go! For our review today, we will also use a microwave leakage detector and an infrared pyrometer. Let's see how dangerous it is and what temperatures we reach during the work. So, now we open the box. Here we have user manual in five languages. English, German, Russian, Spanish and Ukrainian. Here you can see that the equipment was packed tightly with foam. There is also a wooden protection for the radiator. Well, this is a high quality package. Let's keep moving. Our tripod is disassembled now, but we'll put it together and check it out. The tripod consists of a holder with a lifting mechanism. It is very easy to mount the three support legs with wheels. All three have brakes and a hand on which our radiator will actually be placed. The assembly continues. In total, we spent 3 minutes on this. Now we have a good, stable construction. Everything is very simple and easy to assemble. The important thing is that it's very stable. Let's see what it can. Here we have our nice tripod. Wonderful! Everything can be adjusted and turned. Everything is solid and stable. And most importantly, it allows you to get to the hardest to reach places. The equipment from Shashel is now mounted on the tripod. This is a power unit. Using a key would prevent access by children. Power and radiation indicators. Remote control within 15 meters. Enough to be safe. There is the radiator. Connected with a 4 meter cable. Protected from dust, dirt and water. A final solution for every day. Very nice. Now we are going to test how effective the Shashel microwave system is against wood borer beetles. The test object is a beam. Let's measure the temperature on its surface. Then we'll also measure the microwave field. Let's go. Start. It's working, fans do sound. The power unit and radiator are quite well protected against overheating. Now let's check the temperature. 29 degrees. Now a bit closer. Then you have to keep a safe distance. It has to be at least 5 meters. The remote control works within 15 meters thanks to the LAN cable. 
Now I stand about 5-6 meters away. If the allowed voltage of the electromagnetic field is exceeded, we get a signal from this microwave leakage detector. Let's go! We can see that it's radiating. The microwave leakage detector gives no signal, which means everything is safe. The red indicator is active. That means the microwave radiation is currently active. The beam is being treated. Let's wait a few minutes. Well, here is how it works. If you have some questions, please ask in a comment section below this video. We will reply to anyone who is already using our equipment or wants to order it yet. What do we have here? It's alright. Wow, it's going really well. It's obvious that the microwave radiation is non-ionizing. The operating frequency is 2.4 GHz. Almost like our Wi-Fi, but a lot more powerful, of course. It's all good. You don't have to take any electronics out of the room. An important thing, do not treat any electronics with the equipment. If the power is off, it's ok for wires. Nails or metal are no problem either, nor heat insulation. We haven't reached a critical temperature. The temperature when the wood starts burning is about 250 degrees, depending on the humidity and type of wood, but uh, it's unnecessary for us to know these temperatures. In this case, it is enough when protein coagulates. With the help of microwaves, the wood is treated from the inside, so to speak. And the inside is then quickly fried into chips. You can also see it in our previous videos. We will not treat this beam long. Our focus here is to learn how it works and how everything is heated. Well, what do we have here? Everything is fine again. So we conclude that Shashal microwave system is safe. Of course, you always have to take the safety measures to avoid getting fried instead of the woodworms. The equipment works, the indicators too. Now we can turn it off and see what happened after a few minutes. Press off. The red indicator is off now. That means the microwave radiation is inactive. Let's pull it back. Let's measure the temperature with the pyrometer. 56 degrees 47 Now 50 That's enough to kill the woodworm It took us just a few minutes Yeah, thicker beams Will require more time and the temperature should then be a little higher, about 60 to 70 degrees, just to be safe. Boiling resin will then pour out of the nut holes. The worms will get it hot. That's the way Shashal microwave equipment works. So, your wooden house is always safe, no matter where and when. It is a must-have.